Okay, the quotient rule is a little bit more complex than the product rule, but they're kind of similar. So it's when you're given a, an original function that has a dividing. So let's see, if we had f of x is equal to 3x squared over x minus 4, say to the third power. Here you have one term, and here's a second term. And usually the numerator is referred to as f of x. So they might, in this case, give that or give dy dx as the notation. And the denominator function is usually referred to as g of x. Okay, so here's the rule. The rule says you take the original g times the derivative of f. Then you subtract the original f times the derivative of g, and then you put all of that over the original g function squared. So let's see if we've got one. We do. So let's use that previous example that we used. Uh, 3x squared, f of x, <coughs> excuse me, 3x squared over the expression x to the fifth subtract 5. So I'm going to refresh your brain on what the derivatives of each of those are. And then we're going to use this formula. So we first take g. That's going to go first. So there's our g times f prime, so times 6x. And then we're going to subtract our, the original f, so 3x squared. Multiply that by the derivative of g, which is 5x to the fourth. And all of that will be over the original g squared. And then you're going to go ahead and simplify. This you can simplify, and this you can simplify. So we're going to simplify those. So we have 6x to the 6, subtract 30x, and then this is to subtract 15x to the 6. Well, notice these are the same type. Uh, remember, combine like terms. So 6 subtract 15 is negative 9. So you can either write it in two ways. Since this will be negative 9x to the 6, subtract 30x, you can write it like that all over that, that thing. Or since they're both negative, bring the negative sign out front and then just write that as a fraction, 9x to the 6 plus 30x, all over the expression x to the 5th subtract 5 squared. Or you can leave it like this negative 9x to the 6, subtract 30x, all over the denominator squared. All right, that's it for this one.